Hello and welcome to this guide to rise of industry. In this video, you will learn all you need to know about logistics networks. Logistics network is used to move large quantities of goods over very long distances. They are especially useful in the mid and late game when you will have to build production lines far away from your destinations. The logistics network, as its name suggests, is a set of connections between different points on the map. Each point consists of a warehouse and a depot of choice. I'll talk about different types of networks later, but the most basic one uses truck depots. To create a valid connection, we'll have to place a warehouse and a truck depot in its range in two different places on the map. Now we can make a request at one of the warehouses. We'll need to choose the product we want to send as well as its amount. We can hold shift to change that amount by 10 instead of 1. We can also decide whether other warehouses connected to the network should send goods in one continuous flow or in batches. As you can see, if the warehouse has different types of depots in its range, it will be connected to different networks. In that case, you are able to choose which network we want to use. When the request is made, depots will collect the goods from the warehouse and send them to the other depot to supply the warehouse that requests those goods. When you have a lot of requests from different warehouses, you can set their priority in the logistics request panel. As the higher the priority, the faster the request will be fulfilled. This also means that the network will always try to satisfy higher priority requests first, even if that means cancelling an ongoing transit. If two warehouses connected to the same network are requesting the same product, the one that has lower priority will never pull products from the one with higher priority. There are four types of depots in the game. Trade trucks, trains, boats and zeppelins. Trade trucks are good for medium and long range hauling and are rather cheap, but with a low capacity. Trains are very cost efficient over long distances, can move more products than trucks and are also faster, but not as cheap. Boats are slow and bound to rivers, coastlines and artificial canals that have the highest capacity in the game. Zeppelins can be used to avoid obstacles but are very expensive and have a rather low capacity. To set up a connection between two train terminals, you will need to connect them with tracks. Both exits need to be connected. It's also important that the tracks don't make sharp turns and are properly connected. Here are some examples of valid and invalid connections. 